Former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern has called for a moratorium on the purchase of AAA video games and that gamers should not buy them. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Roll this up over at thatparkplace.com. And this is what Mark Kern had to say on his account Grums on X. He says, calling on all gamers to not buy any AAA titles for the next two years that do this. Play your Steam backlog. You will send a very clear message. Lara Croft did nothing wrong and does not need fixing. So you're probably wondering what exactly is he's taught? What exactly is he? What exactly is he talking about? Jeez, can I talk? Uh, but as shown above, his call for gamers to suspend their purchases of AAA video game titles comes in the wake of Crystal Dynamics and Evil Hat Productions attempting to redefine Lara Croft in their upcoming Tomb Raider Shadows of Truth RPG rulebook. So just to be clear, this is not a AAA video game. This is not a new Tomb Raider game. It is a tabletop RPG rulebook similar to Dungeons and Dragons or uh, Pathfinder. But as reported by Tomb Raider Chronicles, an excerpt from the rulebook, which has which was shared to X by a now deleted account Oreo Foxo, stated raiding as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories involves going to ancient tombs and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. It operates on the assumption of finding keepers that grants raiders with the means and the drive to claim ownership of artifacts, regardless of whether they have any historical or cultural claim to the treasure. Later games released in the franchise have started the work of addressing this by having Lara Croft acknowledge her past mistakes and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes into contact with. She has also worked to reform Raider culture and raise the awareness of her peers. So clearly they are taking a direct shot at Lara Croft and her tomb raiding activities, trying to redefine, reshape the character because the people that are now creating Lara Croft uh, games and narratives are ashamed of her past or maybe not they're not ashamed but they find it repugnant and they probably actually hate Lara Croft the excerpt also detailed that Lara Croft no longer collects artifacts she discovers it says Lara no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts as a raider she prioritizes seeking out the truth much of this game is inspired by her her humanity struggle with heroism and her tenacity we believe that all three aspects are an important component in creating a game that celebrates history and culture while acknowledging the respect and work required to live in a world wounded by colonialism so clearly you can get the fact that this game this tabletop game is going to be super woke already pushing um terms like colonialism uh obviously uh there were terrible things that happened with colonialism but there were a lot of good things as well it's very easy to point to the fact that the spanish conquistadors ended the absolutely brutal evil uh human sacrifice practices that the aztecs were participating in and obviously they worked with um other uh, tribes in the area to put a stop to uh, to those practices. Nevertheless, it goes on and says, in this game, we seek to continue in that work alongside Crystal Dynamics by creating a sandbox for you to tell stories that address colonialist themes in play and create your own stories of respect and support for the people and cultures your seekers encounter. So I also want to point that out too. Like not all cultures are equal. Obviously, a culture like the Aztecs that uh, practices ritual human sacrifice is absolutely evil and wrong and it should indeed be put to a stop uh, and we should be praising the people that put a stop to it so uh this idea that all cultures deserve respect is a uh, complete and utter fallacy because there are cultures that literally just uh adopt a lot of evil practices uh and it is at the heart of a lot of what they what they did and and, and um, Christian nations like like Spain put a stop to it, and that is a good thing. Uh, this excerpt comes in the wake of Crystal Dynamics issuing a trigger warning in the front of Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered uh, that stated this, the games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. The stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values at Crystal Dynamics. So they're obviously accusing the original developers at core of having uh, <laughs> racial and ethnic prejudices. And that's why they depicted those uh, uh, people and cultures in the game that way. It's absolutely disgusting, despicable behavior from Crystal Dynamics. Uh, so it's not surprising that they would be engaging in more despicable behavior regarding Tomb Raider. 
Uh, the trigger warning concluded saying, rather than removing this content, we have chosen to present here in its original form, unaltered in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. As for Evil Hat Productions, this company is the wokest of the woke. In 2020, the company condemned H.P. Lovecraft as a racist and an anti-Semite in its published Fate of Cthulhu after raising over $93,000 from 2,623 backers on Kickstarter in 2019. It shared an excerpt from the rulebook that stated Howard Phillips Lovecraft was a racist and an anti-Semite. There, we said it. We could give a litany of examples, but they are easy to find with a simple internet search. Look up the name of his cat, for instance. Um... 9 uh, HPL was over the top even for his time. Go ahead, we'll wait. So obviously they were still try they were going to call him a racist and anti-Semite, but they were going to try and profit off of his work. Uh, kind of uh, hypocritical and contradictory. In a follow-up, they added this. Since the predictable edgelords and apologists have now shown up, a quick reminder, if you don't like the politics included in our games, don't buy them. We literally do not want your money. We are committed to diverse and inclusive gaming. We're not perfect, but we're trying. So they're literally telling you not to buy any of their products, including this upcoming Tomb Raider game. And they were sharing that back in uh, 2020. And then in 2021, they actually shared a page from their Thirsty Sword Lesbians rulebook, where they claim where they claim that that is the company's stance on the types of customers they want. I mean, this is what it says. It says no fascists or bigots allowed to play Thirsty Sword Lesbians and I guess if you want to base it off of this post here where they say there's no such thing as an apolitical game, this page from Thirsty Sword Lesbian sums up our stance quite nicely. So this is the company's stance. These are the people that they want. And they said, reminder, if you don't like our politics, don't buy our games. We literally don't want nor need your money. The get woke, go broke mantra is pure BS. But this is what their kind of screed reads and the types of customers that they want. It says to play Thirsty uh Sword lesbians, you must support racial liberation, intersectional feminism, and queer liberation. Respect transgender people, non-binary non people, intersex people, and women. Respect racialized people, respect black, indigenous, mixed race people, and other people of color. Respect sex workers, respect disabled people, respect immigrants, respect lesbians, and other people with queer sexualities. Respect people experiencing poverty or homelessness. Respect neurodivergent people such as those on the autism spectrum respect fat people and people of all body types uh don't demand that anyone educate you about their marginalizations and then it says if you don't agree fix your heart before sharing a table with other people if you do agree but you're struggling with self-loathing over any aspect of your identity that's understandable. We're taught to hate ourselves in so many ways. Come on in and let's celebrate the existence and joy of people like us. So obviously, uh, respecting individuals and seeing their dignity is different from um, supporting racial liberalization, intersectional feminism, and queer liberation. Obviously, that stuff is wrong and evil. You should not be doing that. I do think that you should be respecting these people, but I don't think that what I mean by respect is what they mean. They mean complete and utter acceptance. I think that these people are obviously being led astray towards these awful evil ideologies and lifestyles and you need to respect them as humans and try and bring them back into the light back to uh jesus christ where they can find true healing from the clear suffering that they are engaging in whereas they i am 100 percent certain that when they say respect it means you must uh accept uh, everything uh, that these people do uh, and and the evil that they're committing in in their lives, where as I'm like, no, you that what you're doing is wrong. You need to stop that. But uh, we can find we can find you help, and uh, there will be people here uh, to help you. And you're clearly suffering. Uh, if you're ex experiencing a lot of this stuff, obviously lots of suffering. So that is Evil Hat Productions. The, that's what Crystal Dynamics is. So this game is going to be absolutely super woke to the max. And if this is the company that Crystal Dynamics is working with, um, you can probably assume that the next Tomb Raider game that they're doing with Amazon is going to be absolute garbage as well. It looks like Crystal Dynamics is completely paused. So it shouldn't be very difficult for gamers to completely boycott uh, Crystal Dynamics and anything with Tomb Raider. And uh, given the fact that what we've seen with all of these other AAA games, Spider-Man 2, I guess you can call Alan Wake 2 a AAA game. I'm not sure if you would call that a AAA game. Um, but uh, it, it shouldn't be too hard to kind of skip a lot of this stuff, given the fact that we've seen all of these DEI consultancy companies injecting all of this woke ideology into these video games. Uh, I can't even remember the last time I purchased a AAA game. So I've already kind of uh, <laughs> pieced out on that. I mainly play 
uh, Japanese uh, RPGs and, and like strategy RPGs, things like uh, Tactics Ogre Reborn and uh, Unicorn Overlord. Uh, but let me know what you guys make of Mark Kern's call to um, have gamers basically boycott AAA games, not buy any AAA games for the next two years. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.